What's going on guys, it's your boy Cash, and honestly, I just kind of saw this trailer and I wanted to react to it. Uh, second trailer, Pokemon Scarlet, Pokemon Violet. I watched like two, uh, not, not two minutes, like a minute of it. I was like, ah, just screw it, just screw it, you know, just, let's just, let's just watch it together, why not? See what they're going on with the new Pokemon game. I'm hoping that they have like a release date. I think they, they said that this game was supposed to come out like the end of this year, right? So I'm kind of curious of what that's going to do and I don't know, just wanted to take a break from uh, all the dislike uploads. I have another announcement video I want to do today as well. So kind of to break up the uh, the gotcha stuff and talk to you guys about the, the channel. So without further ado, let's uh, look at the Pokemon second because I definitely covered the first one, right? I definitely covered the first one. So let's see how that's going to work. Click. Graphics look good. I mean, they, they've been slowly upgrading that, right? They learned probably a lot from Arceus. I'm almost 100% sure they probably learned a lot from Arceus. Now, first, well, hold on. Now, when I first saw these two... This is why I paused it. Uh, this is why I stopped. I was like, oh, damn, we're, we're finally getting older. <laughs> I, thought, I actually thought I was like, yo, we're going to actually get older characters for, for once. Because these characters actually look pretty cool, right? And then immediately they crush my dreams. And they say, uh, Professor Sadi, Professor, so they're, they're not you. You're someone else. That looks like a weird Eevee. Are these three trainers? What? Now... Oh, so this is your rival? Has there been a rival girl? I feel like there's never really a rival girl in any of the games. Now, if you guys don't know, I always go grass uh, every time. I don't care how ugly it looks. I don't care how crappy it is. I always go grass. So our grass thing looks like a grass Piplup. Uh, not Piplup. Uh, no, I say Piplup. No, not, definitely not Pip-Up. I'm thinking of a, like a dog, like a dog Pokemon. Uh, Lilup. There it is. Like a, a grass Lilup. It looks like weird. So the water one, I feel like for some reason is going to look the craziest. And I don't know about the fire. I think fire might take an L. Wait, it's electric? What? 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 Well, no, that, that wasn't the fire one. This is the fire. Water, grass, the stupid Pikachu. That's in every region for some reason. Look at that. Good design. Okay. This is very important, by the way. Oh my god, they actually put the Arceus stuff in here. <laughs> this is a good thing, but it also could be a terribly bad thing. It could be a terribly bad thing. Uh, yes, I am pausing it because I know Nintendo might come from my neck. Anyway, if you guys don't know, you if you know, you know. All right. What really cool that I liked about this is that you're seeing some of the Pokemon that are going to be in here. They showed uh, Fletchling. They showed Mareep. So cool to see them. That's a new Pokemon. Don't know what that is. That looks like the same animation, though. They show the sneaking up part, but that's the same uh, Pokeball animation. Showing different hairstyles. That's a new Pokemon. Piggy. Le Lechonk. Damn, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, honestly... I, it has to you just have to at this point just say it's a trope right you have to just say that it's a Pokemon will never go above and beyond as far as like tackle they really couldn't have this thing go into here like it doesn't actually have to like tackle and like the shoulder blade has to hit into the chest of the other Pokemon just have it go into it like just like go because even in the older games that's what that would happen right if you use tackle the, the the sprite would go over to the other one in a little bit, but like the little shoulder tap, like, like, come on, man. Eh. <laughs> come on, man. Uh, but y you know what? Honestly, okay, this the lighting thing is killing me. Ugh, much better. Now, the, the thing that's killing me is just that like, I mean, not that it's killing me, but you also could see like, this is what other games could use to get better, right? They can utilize the fact that they never want to like do that. And that could be a big thing for some people. I think at the end of the day, in a turn-based game, it's not that important because a lot of time, 
turn-based games don't have that many crazy animations. But then you do look at Fire Emblem. You look at some of these other games that really have gone above and beyond throughout the years. Really, really make like turn-based combat really spicy, having really flashy effects. Usually in Pokemon, they save that for the legendaries, the, their, like their signature moves and stuff like that. So Tackle's not going to have a crazy animation, but maybe some other moves in the game will. And they have done pretty good in the, in the last couple series, I'm not going to lie. Hey, kid. I know that guy. It's showcasing all the styles. That's actually, hold on. That's a sick freaking, uh, that's a sick Pokemon Center. It's like a gas station. Can you show it again? It's like a, it's almost like a gas station. <laughs> like it's out in the wilderness. So you even see like there's tables, which is insane. Like they're trying to, it's snowing outside and you're going to sit there. But that's a pretty cool concept because usually it's like a uh, indoor thing. It's cool to see a Pokemon Center that's outdoor. It's kind of like the tents in Arceus, but a little bit different. What? Is that how you trade? Oh, it's Larvitar. Because you can probably do it on the go. Okay. Very important. Oh, God, you stole a piece of shit. Oh, he's back. You stole a piece. <laughs> you stole a... Where is it? I love this. I, I'm a big uh, grass, if not bug, uh, Pokemon player, so nice to see them. Yep. Talonflame is in the building. The gems. Anything else? Anything else? Not actual game footage. We know your graphics ain't like that. Maybe release date is showing? Oh, imagine? Imagine Pokemon looking like that? That is crazy. Oh, they're going to show the two Legos. What? Do you have a jet? I'll take whatever. Like, please let my game be the one with the jet. All right, so Paul, what do we think of the design? So this one has like a, a wheel in its chest on the left. And the right one looks like it's jet propelled. I I, I don't know. Like, it's it seem Okay, Scarlet and Violet. I'm getting violent. <laughs> that thing is jet propelled. That just looks broken. Like that doesn't even make sense why a Pokemon is able to do that unless they're fusing with machines, which would be pretty decent. You know, I mean that they kind of have that, but Jesus Lord, that thing is, that thing looks too cool on the right. That's Violet. I guess I'm Violet. We're Violet boys. Which one are you? Let me know in the comment section. Are you Violet or are you Scarlet? Cause I mean, that looks like the chest poking out. Okay, so releasing worldwide Friday, November 18th. So that gives us five months to save and prepare, right? Uh, digital pre-orders available now for no reason. Very interesting. Any more, anything else? A little razzle dazzle out then. That must be like a, hey Clint, that must be a little like, showboat to another like to a legendary another legendary is in the game but what do you guys think about uh the the trailer second trailer pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet they didn't show any evolutions they did show some old pokemon and alongside some new pokemon in there as well i think i'm thinking um i'm definitely violet because that uh, jet propelled pokemon uh first of all it better have good speed or else i'm gonna be pissed but i'm definitely looking at that it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool I'm, I'm very excited to see what they have in store and you know like i said even though they do little minimal minimal upgrades to the game every time you know uh it has gone it has come a long way it really has pokemon has come a long way and i am always interested to see it the competitiveness and what's cool and how do you make a team and stuff like that how easy is it to be competitive uh you know how quick am i going to just <laughs> hack the game no we call it genning right we call it genning uh but I, i've always liked pokemon games and since they are handheld you know since people think i'm a, a mobile game channel come on Pokemon's pretty much handheld. It's on a Switch. Come on, give me a break. That that's like the same, like pretty much the same. But um, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about the trailer, what you, uh, my analysis, all that good stuff. If you did enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.